Well, the first night of Hanukkah is this Sunday, and there is a mega celebration happening in West Hartford. We are talking about fire on ice. And here to tell us more about it is Rabbi Shia Gopin this morning. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Symphony. How are you doing this morning? Doing wonderful. Great, wonderful. great. So this is an exciting year because uh, there were some changes last year. What happened with the event last year? You know, last year was the, in the thick of, uh, of, you know, isolation and staying apart and as big events were not encouraged at all. So we had to figure out a way and thank God the method that was used last year was a, 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 a drive-in where everyone parked in their cars. We had a mass LED screen and, uh, and uh, a, you know, radio transmitter so everyone could participate from their cars, next to their cars. And we didn't know how it's going to work out. And it worked out amazing. First of all, the place was full and people really appreciated the opportunity to get together, to celebrate, to have the, you know, feel the joy of the holiday. Uh, this year, thank God, uh, things are a little bit lighter, less restrictions. So we're going to do it outdoors once again in West Hartford Town Hall in front of the big lot there. So people can do both, either participate in person, come enjoy the booths, the rides for young children. There's going to be all kinds of activities which we'll talk about. And then you can drive in and park behind uh, so you can watch proceedings, listen to it and participate as well. All right. Now, uh, for people who may not be familiar with Fire on Ice, can you explain the importance of this event? Well, first of all, I think, you know, particularly in this time, you know, getting together as a community and feeling part of, you know, with, with all the isolation that we've been feeling over the, in the past 18 months, so crucial to be, remember, we're part of a greater good and a community. We come together that feel is so strong, especially when it's a positive celebration of Hanukkah. Um, what we're going to have is a large carving of an eight-foot menorah. There's going to be activities uh, uh, and hot food for sale, crafts for children, rides, um, Hanukkah giveaways. Um, you can also get your own Hanukkah kit. We'll be giving those away for everyone so they can take the menorah home to their home and light the Hanukkah candles in their own space. Um, and then we're going to have a live performance at the peak of the celebration uh, when we'll have a concert by Yoni Z coming all the way from New York. He's a very energetic and enthusiastic singer. Um, and, uh, and then during the concert, we're going to have the great Hanukkah gelt drop. The West Hartford Fire Department comes and they extend the ladder and drop all kinds of Hanukkah treats for children of all ages uh, to collect and see what they can get. We make sure everyone everyone uh, gets some treats to take home with them as well. So it's, uh, it's fun for all ages and it's very powerful, very meaningful to light the first light of Hanukkah together as a community. Awesome. Sounds like a great time. Now, uh, is this something that, you know, families of all backgrounds can come out and enjoy? Absolutely. It's really uh, grown over the years, not only in numbers, but also in diversity of the participation of people. People come, uh, whether they're Jewish or want to celebrate Hanukkah, people are curious. Everyone's welcome to join. Um, it's uh, You just need to register at ChabadHartford.com slash fire, um, where we can make sure that everybody is uh, situated properly. Um, but really, it's a, it's, it's a real coming together of people of all ages and all backgrounds to celebrate a, a, a universal message. You know, Hanukkah is not a, uh, is, it, it has a message for all people. It's the idea that, you know, a little bit of light dispels vast amounts of darkness. And when we see darkness around us, we see sickness, we see negativity, we have to remember that power of light, that it's not quantity, it's quality. And each of us have influence on our environment by the goodness that we do. The uh, And we can spread light, spread goodness. And every time someone thinks, oh, I'm not the little, an effort to do good for someone else really has vast effects. That's universal. One of the universal messages of Hanukkah, which is, uh, which is why people of all walks of life can appreciate and enjoy and celebrate. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Rabbi Gopin, this morning and explaining all that. Sounds like a great time out there, and I hope you guys have a great turnout. We'll be sure to put all that information up on our website under the link section. Make sure you head over to fox61.com.